Well, I'm joined now by Ghanem al Masarir, a Saudi human rights campaigner and political satirist now based in the UK. He is the host of an online talk show where he often criticises the Saudi royal family. Now, if anyone has the relationship with Saudi Arabia to get to the truth, it's the United States. So do you feel at all reassured by what Donald Trump has said today? I'm not really assured with what President Trump is saying. Uh, as we heard in the last couple of weeks, I will quote from President Trump. He, he asked the Saudi king is to pay for their protection. And he did say Saudi without US protection, they wouldn't even last for two weeks. That's the President Trump uh, statement. Therefore, I don't think he's uh, uh, going to seek the truth, what's happened about uh, Jamal Khashoggi. He only wanted, like, I think, to continue the arms sale. What, of what but he's very open about saying, you know, he's, he's not going to threaten he arms is. sales and American jobs depend on it. And, you know, there's an honesty to what he's saying, uh, you know, about, about that. I mean, the question is, do you think, you know, we're going to get to the truth when he says we will get to the bottom of it? Um, I don't think so, because Saudi Arabia has a long history of kidnapping people abroad and uh, uh, if you're murdering people abroad, who criticise them? And we, we saw the last uh, three royal family members disappeared from Europe and uh, we saw that the Saudi Arabia used use their consulate and their embassies to, to spy in Saudi uh, oppositions, what, like what happened uh, in 2003 with the Saudi um, diplomat who was expelled from the United Kingdom because he uh, bribed uh, a police officer in order to obtain some uh, uh, private information. On but people. why do you think this is different? Why do you think the, the Khashoggi case has prompted so many big international reactions? He, uh, Khashoggi is very famous and well-known, and he's, uh, uh, from what we heard, that he's planning to establish a new... Um, uh, campaign against the Saudis and he wanted to, to go hard on them and, and he got that much attention. But in the same time, what happened to Jamal Khashoggi is happening inside the kingdom on a daily basis. People are disappearing and we didn't even hear anything from uh, President Trump uh, regarding them. President Trump is keep asking the Saudis to pay for their protection, yeah. but he never asked uh, of their abuse for human rights. But the, the UN chief, Guterres, was talking about this kind of disappearance as being the new normal. You know, that this is the way countries will behave, certain countries. So, so, so as, a, as a critic yourself, does this make you think you're in a different world now, that you may be under threat? Absolutely. Saudi Arabia government doesn't uh, act like, like a respectful state. They act like a rogue state or even like a mafia. And they have history on that. Of course, I am in fear of my life because I would like to tell you and your audience that I, I was attacked here in broad daylight in London streets on 31st of August last month and by two uh, Saudi thugs who screamed... When, when you say me. Saudi thugs, how, how yeah, do you know but, who, but because who they, they were? They, they, I mean... they screamed at me saying, who, who am I to talk about the Saudi uh, crown prince and who, who to criticise them? So, but we I, don't... We, I mean, we just need to be... No, 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 but clear that because you it, don't it, know it, that that was it, it, from it, it, the Saudi it, government. Sure, 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 I mean, sir. But, but, but this was recorded by Basarbai, and it, what they have said and what they did to me was recorded and published online. And even the Independent has, has uh, wrote article about it and too many articles. So the Saudis does not act like a, a respectful state, and b the reason is because nobody elected the the Saudi government, and they claim to ha to have taken this country by sore and they have the right to do what they wanted to their own what well, let's the, their own slaves inside the kingdom and even abroad and this is what we are seeing and it's nothing new with the saudis we must leave it there thank you very much indeed ganem al masriya you're thank welcome you. sir.